is a circle and Maithrin means nursery and it stands for family, like a circle of family. The Kilch Maithrin is not just for children from Welsh backgrounds, it's from children of all backgrounds. We've got some children that are Welsh or English and even their first language and they come to the Kilch and they get to learn Welsh and get to learn all about the culture and everything as well. Oh, As for Kilch Maithrin, it's like a little playgroup where the children can come, make friends, interact, learn through the Welsh language. We offer routine and structure but also give the children their own freedom to learn as and when they feel that they want to. The children have many benefits coming to us, mainly when they leave us they always have a smile and that's a key indicator with the child that they've had a good time. We move to the school and it gives us a great opportunity to work with the school and we have quite a few children who come to the Kilch and then therefore they go either to the afternoon session of the school or the morning session so it's like a full day care. We call them aunties in Kilch Maithrin. We're all bopas here. We are these children's bopas and we love a cut, we love to learn, we love to play. We realise the more people are looking for the Welsh language, there's more opportunities for children as they grow up with, with bilingualism. I'm from an English speaking home, but I went to a Welsh school. If I wasn't a Welsh speaker, then I wouldn't be doing the job that I'm doing today. We offer a great opportunity for these children, and what I say is we're the stepping stones for school, but all the children learn at a different pace, but they all take something from here, home. What we do then to help home is we do sheets of our everyday phrases that we use, so blame my, uh, Gavi, so they learn and understand the Welsh language, they learn phrases, whether it's through songs, repetitiveness. A couple of the parents have also asked for copies of our singing, the songs yeah. that we sing as well, because they like to sing with the children at home. Hello, Gwen. Gwen. Da iawn. Shara can rag all the time with the kids. And do you know when you hear them speaking Welsh? It's so cool. And the words that you've taught the children. We had a child a couple of weeks ago and I was speaking to her and she just answered me back in Welsh. And that was a proud moment. I think, oh my gosh, she's talking back yeah. to us in Welsh. Yeah. You know? So, you know, it shows what we're doing. Yeah, and they do um, pick it up. And how yeah, quick, how quick they pick the language up. Yeah. I don't speak Welsh, but I want my children to have every opportunity they can, and I want them to be one of the million speakers of Welsh. They have so much fun. And just little things like she sat at the kitchen table this week counting to 10 in Welsh, and we didn't even know she could do it. <laughs> If you didn't know whether to send them to a Welsh school, I would definitely send them to a Maestrin, just so that they could have an idea of what it's like, you can have an idea of what it's like, and then you just hear how much they pick up so quickly. When parents ring me and ask, oh, why should I send my child to your nursery? We don't speak Welsh at home. Just because you don't speak Welsh at home, the opportunities we have in the setting and the language the children will pick up will be so beneficial and so much fun for the children to explore a different language. Tell me.